The title of this podcast is There is Work to Be Done, and it's on me. This podcast is about what do you really want in terms of for your life and your experiences. For me, I want sustained joy, inner peace, and to live life with an open heart. Uh, I've made this a non-negotiable goal for me when it comes to uh, my life. Uh, some people that live this way, they know this to be true and they've known this to be their work at first and foremost, this is where their focus is. Others might experience those things intermittently, meaning that, uh, that they don't work on themselves, you know, with that same kind of dedication and focus on the weekend. It could be in the form of nutrition, diet, exercise. And for me, most importantly, about being able to handle whatever happens in life that shows up, you know, whenever it happens that you are making it about working on yourself first before you even think about interacting and engaging with other people or a life situation that may show up in the form of some kind of challenge that hits your stuff, uh, you on a personal level. Uh, and so a lot of people, like I said, you know, their practice is strong, they are doing well, uh, but on the weekends, they don't stay as committed or they could be doing great at work when work is going well and then something happens and then they don't continue to live with that same kind of commitment working on themselves in those moments. It could be when it comes to them with a loved one who is acting in a way that's different than the way they think or they have a family member come and visit out of town and may stay a little longer than which was initially agreed upon. Whatever the case may be, if you want to have this thing that I mentioned about the sustained joy, the inner peace and living life with an open heart consistently in a sustainable way, then it requires you to recognize that there is work to be done and the work is with you. In my case, the work is with me. Uh, you know, it's harder, as you know, that when you stop doing something that you develop a rhythm or proficiency with or you are improving, that you stop doing it express it as voluntary and, or you let some life or something get in the way to restart it. So let's say that you had developed the capacity to run several miles and you start to, you go on vacation somewhere else. Well, as far as I know that most places you go, you can still continue running there or you've done really well with your, with your eating and uh, being mindful about what you put in your body because you have goals for your, for your health. And then something happens and life shows up, you're on vacation or whatever else, and you continue to eat in a way that doesn't support those goals. And then you try to restart. It's a lot harder to break those cravings. It's a lot hard to, to come back and start running those miles that you had really uh, become better at doing and with a whole lot less effort. So what I've learned is, is don't stop, <laughs> like keep going because I want to experience joy. And I don't want the, the pain that comes with restarting. So in the areas that I've worked on myself is working on not taking things personal, uh, work on not spinning narratives that are negative about other people, life situations that's trying to see good. I worked on that hard, like it was my job. I've worked on no matter what people think, say, believe, like me, don't like me. I made that all about like, that's my practice. This person needs to change a thing that they're doing. The way they talk to me, okay. They talk to me that way. Uh, as long as I can, you know, make it not about me and not close my heart to the person, then I've done my work in that area. Now, it doesn't mean that I don't have a conversation down the road, but only after I work with myself and my personal mind is no longer part of the problem or something that I have that is dictating my behavior anymore. So uh, if I'm, and, and again, my test on whether or not the work is with me or that it's time to go to work outside of me 
is if I'm not experiencing inner peace uh, with other people, then it's a personal problem. It's a Keith problem. If I am able to have peace and I feel love and I want to extend kindness and live with an open heart as it relates to that person, then I've done my work. And now I can take this show on the road. But other than that, mm -mm. I know that it's me that's responsible. So if you are struggling with someone in your life, if you're struggling with a situation that is not to your liking or rather the liking of your personal mind and what it thinks the situation look, look, look like, then begin with you first. So as the title, you know, says or suggests, is this, the there is work to be done and the work is with me. I think about that all the time and I hope you will too. Mm -hmm.